Welcome to Raw Food for My Life. Hey everyone, how's it going? Well, I'm continuing on my juice feast. I'm having a great time. I feel great. Oh man, do I feel like I've just got so much energy I can't even tell you. So, uh, a little bit of detox is happening, just a little bit. I'm not worried about it. Uh, we've, I've been through that, trust me, with the water, so I know it's not going to be that bad. But anyways, there's a couple of things I want to share with you today because I've switched it up a little. I've gone to the next level. So uh, there's a drink I want to show you and then there's something else I want to show you. Okay, so hold on one minute and I'll be right back. Okay, well you you recognize this machine because this is the Omega juicer here and everything but Look what I have added To my juicing. I have added wheatgrass. Yes, and I tell you that this really goes well with my system I'm I'm able to digest it. I'm able to drink it with no problems I mean it just it, it's it's great for me. I love it. It gives me tons of energy and I start the mornings out with 10 shots of this, but I'm going to show you how I make it so you won't get confused, okay? You're probably going, 10 shots of wheatgrass? Yuck! It's really not. I'm going to show you a way to make it palatable and where you're going to want to drink it because it gives you so much energy and gets you going right in the morning, okay? So hold on one minute and I'll show you how to do this. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut some of the wheatgrass. So we just have a small paring knife and we grab some of it, not a big handful, because you have to remember that the size of the hole in the Omega is this large. So you don't want to put too much more than that and clog up the in shoot, okay? So we're going to go ahead and just cut some of that right off of there. Something like that. We're going to go ahead and turn the machine on. We put it right in the chute. Shove it down with the tamper. And we repeat. The Omega handles wheatgrass like so easy, I can't tell you. It's just very easy. So as you can see, I'm just cutting the grass down at the roots. It's very simple and it's very quick. Okay. Now here's another thing that I do. As you can see, the pulp is coming out into the stainless steel bowl. Okay. Well, there is still juice left in that pulp. So what do I do? I grab it and I put it back through. That way, that way I can extract it all. Okay. Very good. And that's all there is to it. That's it. Now hold on because I got something else to show you. Okay? Okay, so we've got our wheatgrass in here and now you can see the other ingredients which is carrots. And again, this machine here just takes the carrots and makes a very dry pulp so I know I'm getting almost a hundred almost a hundred percent of the juice out of the carrot so we'll go ahead and juice the carrot and it doesn't take that long really uh, in the mornings I can go ahead and do this it's nice and fresh and I'll uh, I'll make 32 ounces in about, oh, 10 minutes or so. 
and it's just fantastic. And like I said, the energy that I'm getting from the wheatgrass is phenomenal. The reason I know it's from the wheatgrass is because before I started doing wheatgrass, I was doing just carrot juice. And uh, the wheatgrass really took it to the next level. And so as you can see, this Omega juicer just takes these carrots with no problem. Now this wheatgrass that I get and the carrots I get are 100% certified organic. And so, there you have it. I'm going to go ahead and do the rest off camera and I will return. Look what I got. Ha! Yeah, baby. Oh, man. That is good. That is fantastic. So, I have one of these a day in the morning, and I'll tell you, that gets me going. That definitely gets me going, ready for the day, okay? So I don't know if you guys want to follow that or not, but I've given you the instructions on how to do that. You ought to try the wheatgrass. It is really a way to go, I'm telling you. So, I told you I had something else for you too, okay? So, I got one more thing for you, and I'm going to go ahead and show you that now, and then I'll come back and we'll talk about it, all right? Hold on one minute. Hey guys, so you ready to go for a bike ride? Here we go. Okay, so here we go. Gonna go on our little bike ride. This guy here, he uh, flies balloons. And that's what's in that trailer is a balloon. So that's what his story is. Everybody's watering the grass now. And I'm going to take you somewhere and I'm going to show you something I've been doing for a couple of days now. In fact, I started it last week. And, uh, <clears throat> I told you I was going to be taking my exercise to another level and I showed you the bike and some other stuff but I didn't show or tell one of the things that I'm going to do. Look at the puppy on the grass. Hi puppy. <laughs> Good, how about you? How about this? There you go. There you go. <laughs> Everybody's friendly. I really enjoy my bike. I do have another bike that I didn't show you guys yet that I'll be using up in Lake Tahoe because this bike here is a single speed and the bike I need in Lake Tahoe is 
multiple speed. But I'll show you that bike soon. That's a really nice porch on that house. I like that porch. Hope I'm not jarring the camera too much. So, we're coming to a school area, huh? Now, what would a school area have to do with what I'm going to do? I know you guys are all guessing out loud right now. <laughs> you probably got it figured out. So, I will be right back. Okay, so here we are. Okay. I'm on the grass. Grass. And here's the exercise that I'm going to do. Are you ready? So we have a fence here. And we have a fence down there. With sound effects, I guess. <laughs> at any rate, yes, now I'm number one. Okay, so at any rate, here's the exercise I'm gonna do. Okay, here we go. Yes. Okay, one thing I want to tell you guys that I learned many years ago in football. When you are jogging, never jog too much. Always jog to your level and stop and recover. Here's a good way for you to recover. You put your hands on your head, which expand your chest, your lungs. And you do breathing in through your nose you hold it and let it out of your mouth and you do this repeatedly deep breaths what that does is that immediately makes you recover from what you just went through so that you can go again sooner and you're not so fatigued it helps you on fatigue I learned that in football many many years ago so try that, okay? Because that's how I recover so quickly. And then I'm right back to the sprints. Okay? I'll be back. Okay. All right, guys. I just wanted to show you the exercise that I've incorporated into my daily habits now. So I hope you enjoyed it. And... Let me know if anybody is able to uh, uh, give me any ideas or comments about that. Okay? Thanks so much. I'll see you in a little bit. So... 
How'd you guys like that? Isn't that something? I know you're going, holy smokes, he's jogging. <laughs> yes, I am. Yes, I am. And uh, sometimes it's painful and sometimes it's not, but that's okay. I'm doing it safely, as you saw, and I'm not overexerting myself. I'm making sure that I do the breathing exercises, which is very, very important, especially for a man still my size. And another thing that you probably saw and picked up on is that the grass is that thick and very soft, so it gives some cushion to my joints, okay? But it is helping. It Believe me, it is helping. So between everything, you can tell that I have taken it to the next level, and I'm doing it safely, and I'm doing it smart. And so at any rate, you know, we've got the International Day of Juice Feasting coming up. And gosh, when is it? In around 25 days. So in 25 days, I'm in Seattle. And another thing I want to tell you about is we are done with the maintenance on the website. RawFoodForMyLife.com Go there, take a look at it. In the comments page, make a comment. Send me a comment. Let me know what you're thinking. Let me know how you're doing. Let me know everything, okay? So, thanks so much, you guys. Again, I cannot appreciate you guys enough. Thank you so much for, my, for your support and supporting me. And I can't tell you how happy I am. And remember, International Day of Juice Feasting, September 18th, okay? Seattle, Washington. Have a good day. Have a good week. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. We appreciate your support at Raw Food for My Life.